Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Galactosemia Introduction Galactosemia is a rare inherited disease. People with this condition cannot process the sugar galactose which is found in the body and in many of the foods we eat. If not treated, galactosemia can cause liver dysfunction, cataracts, developmental problems, and even death. Babies can be checked for galactosemia with a blood test right after they are born. To treat galactosemia, a baby cannot eat or drink anything with dairy or lactose in it. Treatment continues throughout life. Treated babies usually live a fairly normal, healthy life. This program explains what galactosemia is, what causes it, the symptoms it creates, and how it is diagnosed and treated. What is galactosemia? Galactosemia is when a person's body cannot process a sugar called galactose. This section explains the biology of this genetic disease. Chemical reactions inside our bodies make our tissue and organs work correctly. Chemical reactions also help us digest food, store fat and carbohydrates for energy, use energy we have stored. Certain chemical reactions help the body turn food into energy. This process is called metabolism. Enzymes are special substances the body makes that allow chemical reactions like this to occur. Carbohydrates, protein, and fat are in our body tissues and the food we eat. Carbohydrates are made of several types of sugar. A simple sugar called galactose is one of them. It is part of a more complex sugar called lactose. All dairy products have the sugar lactose in them. Sugars fuel the body. The body burns glucose, the most basic sugar, to make energy. For the body to process the sugar galactose, several chemical reactions must happen. This is called galactose metabolism. The body has to have certain enzymes for galactose metabolism. One of these enzymes is called galactose 1-phosphate ureteral transferase. If a person does not have enough of this enzyme, he or she has galactosemia. There are three different types of galactosemia. The type of galactosemia a person has depends on which of the three important enzymes needed for galactose metabolism is deficient. The most common type of galactosemia is called classic galactosemia. It is caused by a deficiency of galactose 1-phosphate ureteral transferase. The other two forms of galactosemia are more rare. They are caused by a deficiency of either galactose kinase or galactose-6-phosphate epimerase. If a baby with galactosemia is given milk, its body cannot metabolize galactose due to a deficiency of certain enzymes. Unwanted substances build up in the baby's body and act like poison. This can cause damage to the liver, brain, kidneys, and eyes. Sometimes galactosemia can even be fatal. Symptoms if a baby has galactosemia, it is usually found during a newborn screening done at the hospital. If the baby did not have a newborn screening and he or she has galactosemia, symptoms will show up after the baby drinks milk for a few days. A baby with galactosemia cannot process milk. Unwanted substances build up in the body and act like poison. The baby will start vomiting and become less active. The baby may be fussy or shake. Jaundice may follow. If a baby with galactosemia keeps getting fed milk or milk products, it usually causes poor weight gain, organ and tissue damage, and intellectual disability. If galactosemia is diagnosed in a newborn, it can be treated with a special diet. If treated, the person will have a normal life expectancy. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials.
Genetic causes. Galactosemia is inherited, which means children get the gene for it from their parents. This section explains how galactosemia is genetic. Genes tell the body to make certain substances. Every person has thousands of genes. Our genes make us look the way we do. They also have a lot to do with our health. Each person has 23 pairs of chromosomes. Genes are found on the chromosomes. The gene for galactosemia is on chromosome 9. This gene is responsible for making the enzyme galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase, which metabolizes galactose. The galactosemia gene either works correctly or is defective. We will call the good galactosemia gene that works correctly N for normal. We will call the defective gene that does not work correctly D for defective. Everybody has two galactosemia genes, one from their father and one from their mother. If both galactosemia genes are defective D genes, the person has galactosemia. The good N gene is stronger than the defective D gene. Therefore, if a person has at least one N gene, he or she does not have galactosemia. An NN person does not have galactosemia at all. An ND person does not have galactosemia but carries the defective D gene. This is a galactosemia carrier. A galactosemia carrier does not have symptoms. A DD person has galactosemia. When a couple has a baby, each parent randomly gives one of their galactosemia genes. Which gene the baby gets from each parent is random. If both parents are NN, their child will not have galactosemia. Each parent can only give an N gene. If both parents are DD, which is rare, their child will definitely have galactosemia. Each parent can only give a D gene. If one parent is NN and the other is ND, their child has a 50% chance of being an ND, a 50% chance of being an NN, and no chance or 0% chance of being a DD. Since an ND is only a carrier, this couple will never have a child that has galactosemia. The NN parent will always give a good N gene. If both parents are ND, their child has a 1 in 4 chance of having galactosemia. It is important to remember that each time this couple has a baby, there is the same chance of the baby having galactosemia. If a couple's first baby has a 25% chance or 1 in 4 of having galactosemia, any other babies they have will have the same chance. Newborn screening An infant is usually diagnosed with galactosemia by a newborn screening before symptoms develop. For newborn screening, the heel of the baby is pricked after birth, usually just before the baby goes home from the hospital. The blood is put on filter paper cards, dried and sent to a lab for testing. The blood on just one card can be used to screen a baby for several diseases. Abnormal test results are called positive. If the galactosemia test is positive, either the screening is repeated or more tests are performed, such as urine, blood, or genetic tests. If you live in a state that does not perform galactosemia testing during newborn screening or if your child was not born at a hospital, there are laboratories that will perform the screening for you. Treatment Since people with galactosemia cannot process galactose correctly, treatment consists of lowering the level of galactose in the body. That can be done by not eating or drinking anything with milk in it. Some of the food we eat has lactose in it. Lactose contains galactose. The main source of lactose is milk. That is why not eating or drinking anything with milk in it will lower the level of galactose in the body and help people with galactosemia. As soon as a newborn is diagnosed with galactosemia, lactose-based milk or formula is immediately stopped. The baby can have soy formula or other formulas that do not contain lactose. Treatment for galactosemia is lifelong. People who have it can never eat or drink anything with milk in it. Severe symptoms in babies and children can be prevented by not feeding them anything with dairy products in it. If dairy is eliminated from the diet, a person with galactosemia can expect to live a pretty healthy life. 
Some long-term effects of galactosemia cannot be prevented. For example, galactosemic girls and women's ovaries may not function normally. Galactosemic women may have ovarian failure. Some people with galactosemia have learning or speech problems even if they are treated. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Galactosemia is a rare inherited disease. People with this condition cannot process the sugar galactose. It is part of lactose, which is in dairy products. If not treated, galactosemia can result in liver dysfunction, cataracts, developmental problems, or even death. Galactosemia is inherited, which means children get the gene for it from their parents. A child ends up with galactosemia when both parents have a defective D gene and both pass it on to their baby. Babies can be checked for galactosemia with a blood test right after they are born. As soon as a newborn is diagnosed with galactosemia, lactose-based milk or formula is immediately stopped. The baby can have soy formula or other formulas that do not contain lactose. Treatment for galactosemia is lifelong. People who have it can never eat or drink anything with milk in it. With a proper diet free of milk and dairy products, a person with galactosemia will have a normal life expectancy. Thank you for using Explain.